welcome back to my channel. We're here with Jason's sister in the back seat up in Michigan this week for Jason's brother's graduation. We're up in Ann Arbor, so big college town. We're gonna be at the big house today for the, it's like the big ceremony. And then they're gonna split off and do the actual graduation walk for each school. So he's in, is he in computer program or computer science? Computer science. Computer science, yeah. So he finished in three years, very proud of him. the University of Michigan Stadium, known as the Big House. And a lot of people are in winter coats. Michigan's so a little bit chilly. We came from, I think it was like 80, like 78, 80 degree weather in Asheville to this. It's like 46 degrees. <laughs> We're outside in the stadium. So this is the only jacket I brought. Jay Waz was actually smart and brought his how to go down. <laughs> I thought it was a fixer. <laughs> it's pretty good. Stone okay. College, I'm an alumno. We're in a tie. I love car. About to buy a dog from here. Jason's mom made a little spread. Good morning. It is actually almost noon. And Jay Waz was very patient, has been this morning as I slept in until like 10 30. But every time I come to Michigan, I feel like all we do is eat and sleep. Yes. That's kind of the routine <laughs> That's literally... here. But I think where we left off was on Saturday, which was Jason's brother's graduation. Like I said, we went up to Ann Arbor, Michigan, saw his graduation, saw him walk. That was literally an all day thing. All day. All day. We got up at like 5.30 and then we didn't get back until... Is it 11? 10. 10 or 11? Yeah. yeah. But we ended up going to a steak place called Black Rock. Was it in Ann Arbor or was it... It's uh, 40 it's in minutes. Brighton, yeah. It's like yeah. North. They it's like bring out. You cook the steaks on these heated volcanic rocks. They're like 700 degrees. And they heat them up, and it honestly, I was, I was kind of skeptical, but it, it kind of whipped. They really yeah, like trust you with cooking your own steak. So you, they bring out this super hot rock, and you're supposed to like slice up your steak, and then like put it on the rock. More, they trust you not to burn your hands. That's on what the I'm rock. saying. I mean, it's like seriously, I think it was like 700 and something degrees. And there were like little kids there. I was. Yeah, I was, I was like, really I don't know if I'd bring my kids. Also, yeah. they have this whipped cream volcano, which I'll put a clip in here of the whipped cream volcano. <laughs> but, but they're supposed to like bring them out for birthdays. You get one for free if it's your birthday. Five people yeah. had volcanoes brought out to them. So we decided to just get one and have one brought to bed. But I think your dad ended up paying for it. But anyway, that was that night. Then the last like three days, we've just been chilling. And now we are starting the vlog back up again. I feel like the last couple of days have just been very, very just chill. Up. Literally Catching nothing up going with on. Playing cards with my grandpa. Just hanging. But today we're starting awesome. off at our favorite place in Grand Rapids, which, well, actually, no, that's not true. Madcap's our favorite, favorite place. Favorite breakfast place. Favorite breakfast yeah. place. Wealthy Street Bakery. You can't tag them on Instagram. I've tried. Yeah. They literally say you can't tag them. And yeah. then- They are local and proud of it, but man, it rocks, dude. They have this so like good. croissant breakfast sandwich, which is so good. So we're gonna get that. And then I think we're going bowling with your grandpa or maybe football bowling. My mom's pushing this. Have you heard of this? You, it's like bowling, but you throw the football at the pin. I don't know. I mean, innovation, like innovation that excites, but I'd rather just bowl. Tomorrow, we're going to Detroit and seeing a baseball game with I'm the fam sure. and then doing a couple other things. So I thought I would just kind of vlog here and there as we do stuff. But we're getting breakfast at 11.50. <laughs> Bacon, egg, cheese, croissant. 
Jason got well that's exotic what is that it's called the market veggie that's so fancy of you chibata that was the best oh I could die that was so good ever. it's like the type of food that you just never wanted to end that you're like why are you so, so small good. not even that small but really no it's not that small I just love any type of <laughs> breakfast food but now we are actually just gonna be driving down the street to Rouster to get a coffee this is another really cute place here in Grand Rapids we probably would walk, but it's just so gross outside. We decided we would drive. The struggle of the height difference really comes out right now. <laughs> Whenever we try to hold an umbrella, I'm too short, so I get left behind. He walks too fast, and we have to hold it really high for his height. Oh, it's so hard for us. <laughs> Jason's sister. <laughs> Tell us how you broke your leg. Oh, Snapped my little bone. Little bone. This is my grandpa. <laughs> Mr. Grandpa. Mr. Grandpa. Mr. Wendell. We're getting on the floor. Where'd you come from, Wendell? I came from uh, from the farm. <laughs> I'm a poor, a poor farm boy. <laughs> Trying to make it in the big city. I grew up in Wilmer, <laughs> yeah. Minnesota, yeah. in Minneapolis now. Oh yeah, my. He's a funny guy. I realize I'm missing part of my shoe. Oh my gosh. Grandpa Holmgren finding the perfect bowling ball. He takes his sports extremely seriously. He's in a bunch of leagues and he's very competitive. Okay, 
talking on the phone today because we are in Detroit for the whole day. We're gonna be seeing a baseball game, going to a record pressing store factory, and stopping by Madcap first. This is the Detroit location. JWAS special request. to come to Third Man Records, Jack White's label as a fan. <laughs> Here you go. Sandwiches at Rocco's. Brought my Stanley, of course. For this tiny dip in hot. Yeah. Why there's so many kids here? It's so cool. Oh, it the pictures made it look yeah. so big. Oh, 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 after a very, very long day, we ended up winning Tigers 1 by one point. It was the most low scoring game I think I've ever seen. It was 2-3 to three at the end. But the, they scored all the runs in the same in inning. In the same inning, yeah. And Tigers only got two hits, but scored three runs in one. And like it was zeros for eight out of nine innings. <laughs> really, really low key game. <laughs> really slow game, but it was really fun. Jason's dad comes alive at sports, so it was fun doing that. And then. You know, we got hot dogs, Dippin' Dots, I got a lemonade, Joe has got a beer, but... I got a beer, but I got it in the eighth inning, and it was kind of a fail. I didn't really even have time to finish it, so... Well, we got up at the sixth inning to go get food and stuff, and I think the innings just went by really fast, because when we got back, it was like the end of the eighth inning. So yeah, he didn't even get to finish his drink, and I didn't finish mine either, but still worth it. We just dropped Jason's siblings off back at the house, and now we are off to date night! Yeah, baby. The time that we get to spend just us two on family trips like this, few and far between, so we're soaking it in. We're going to this place called Butcher Union. This is our first time 
coming to this part of Grand Rapids. And it's actually really cute. It kind of feels like Nashville a little bit. Jay Wallace was saying that this part of town is turned over a ton. And it's all just restaurants. So there's like a taco place. You can get burgers, chili. There's the butcher union that we put our name in for. We put our name in. It's gonna be like a 40 minute wait. So we're just kind of walking around. It's definitely mostly just restaurants down here, but we found this cute little market. Might just be a grocery store, but we're gonna just walk in because there's literally nothing else to do here. So just checking it all out. Okay, we walked in, walked out. It's definitely just a grocery store, but our table's ready in 12 minutes. So even though they said it was gonna be 40 minutes, it's only 12 minutes, Wait, which is why. 45 to 55. He said 55? Yeah, which I feel like they just tell you that to be like, don't come here. They're literally like trying to scare you off and we looked him straight in the eye and said, we will wait, sir. <laughs> These are the starters, guys. They're like four times the size of a Nashville starter. So we got two of them thinking that they were gonna be small and they're the size of an entree. Just finished dinner. I got the salmon, which I wouldn't recommend. I hate to say it, I feel so bad, but it wasn't that flavorful. And I thought that the sauce was gonna be more of like a buttery, like, I don't know. It was just very neutral. The entire thing was just very bland. <laughs> I really hate saying bad things about anything, honestly. It just makes me so sad because I had really high expectations, but I did eat a little bit of Jason's meal because he was full from the Brussels sprout starter and his meal was so good. It was insane. Oh my gosh, it literally came with like a cheesy potato casserole and asparagus and crunchy onions. Would go back, would 100% order what he got, which was the Wagyu sirloin. sirloin. Just, yeah, yeah. It was only like so $25. good, $25. Mine was more expensive and mine, I would just not recommend but everything else. The salad that we got was really good. The Brussels sprouts were really, really good. Mine was one of those things, I don't know if you've already said this, but one of those things where you got every every good mouthfeel yep. thing that you want. You've got the good salt the from sauce. the potatoes and the sauce, and then all these crispy onions, basically like broken up onion rings, but honestly better, because it was just the outside crispy part. And then the steak was just like so perfectly cooked and tender. So and flavorful. Also, check out, we figured Mine. out what this line is. Oh Apparently yeah. Apparently they serve beer in little boots. It's on a boots, Wednesday. Boots night. It's and like, just give them the same thing, but put it in a boot. And oh, college <laughs> kids line up down the street for it. I don't know why that cracks me up. Please. Anyway, really cute area though. Yeah. If you happen to come to GR, this is actually our first time coming down here. Because we normally go to Wealthy Street, which was the bakery. And then, what's the other place? Oh, like the Madcap area. But this place, really great. There's really just restaurants though. There's no shops or anything. So there was literally nothing there to look at. There is a shop here, the Michigan State, but they... There's a sign that says... Just Michigan themed everything. Well, yeah, but there, there's a sign that says you have to buy it online. The restaurants all looked really good. There's quite a few. I think there's like seven or eight different restaurants. So pizza place, burgers, where we went, and it's popping. The only thing is that the road noise is so loud because people are just flying down the street. So it's like a cute outdoor vibe, but it's definitely really, really loud from the cars. It's a cute outdoor vibe, but there's a bunch of insecure people literally driving dirt bikes. Yeah, doing, doing wheelies, wheelies down the street. <laughs> They're desperate for attention, so it's fine. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I might pick back up in another vlog because my mom is coming up to Michigan very randomly. She actually planned a trip to Michigan with my grandma to see the Tulip Festival in Holland and it ended up lining up with the same time that we were up here. So I might vlog again, I'm not totally sure yet. But anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys liked it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye. Bye.